Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna film what's in my stripper bag. Um, honestly, I carry a lot of shit at work because sometimes I do my makeup at work, so I carry like a bunch of shit. But there's some a few essentials that I feel that strippers need. Um, I usually wear the same things because I'm a one woman of um routine and I like wearing the same stuff. And at my club, it's not like an urban club, so we don't wear like the shiny things. You know, like how some strippers wear like shiny stuff. I mean, you can, and some girls do, but I just don't per se like it. So it's not really what I wear. So I'm gonna show you guys what I wear. Usually, it's usually black, like 97% of the time black, because I just like how I look in black, so I usually wear black. So most of the time I wear like a push-up bra like this one. This is from Victoria's Secret. And the reason I wear a bra, like a real world bra, is because I'm insecure with my boobs, but I'm getting them done next month. So that'll be the last of you guys hearing about me being insecure. But most of the time, um, I wear a push-up bra, this one, or I'll wear a red one, or like another black one I have, and I'll wear like red bottoms. I just can't find like my red under underwear. But usually I wear the same underwear. So since I have like a specific type of body, I mean, you guys know my body, like I'm like thicker from the bottom. I like to wear things that like essentially that type of body. So I'll usually wear like really skinny thongs. So I'll wear like something like this. <laughs> So it's like literally like a thong, like just a thong. So I'll wear something like this. Sometimes I'll wear it with a see-through dress I have. I actually don't have it with me. No, let me look for it. I don't think I have it with me right now. I think it's a washing, but yeah. It's definitely washing right now, but usually I'll wear it with um, a see-through dress I have. And sometimes I'll wear knee-high socks which i also or did i leave them here maybe mm, there's a bra in here okay yeah perfect I, they aren't here so usually i'll wear like that what i just showed or i'll wear this underwear i have i love this one too so i like this one because you can tie it to your body and it kind of like you can put this all the way up like you can kind of shape this on your waist and it really makes your butt look huge munch so I own like three of these underwear, so these are like my favorite, my favorite style. So I wear those a lot. And when I want to make it a little bit more sultry, I'll usually wear knee-high socks, like I said. And I'll wear like, these are lace, so they're literally made out of lace. Like, they awful lace and they go like all the way to the top. So these help because they, they cut off circulation on your thighs and they bring your, foot, your fat to your butt more. So your fat looks, the fat, the fat, your ass looks really fat. And when I feel like I don't, when it's like a lot of young people, I feel, I don't know. I feel the vibes of the club, but I feel like young people are like, like they see and they don't see. I don't know. That's how I feel. So I went to Forever 21 like a month or two months ago and I was in the pool section. I think this was like on sale for like $4 or something. It's like a pool beach cover so it's supposed to be for the beach like it says like for 21 yeah but it's for the beach but i wear it with a bra and underwear and so i'll dance like with this on so it kind of makes it like you see but you don't see and you know sometimes i'll like lift it up whatever but most of the time i just keep it on so this is like one of my favorite things to wear so usually i'll wear either of those three variations I just like wearing black stuff so that's what i usually wear and i um bring that all with me it's just right now i'm washing so i like took everything out and as far as my bag um i'm like trying to get like a thumbnail or in or something um i just got this bag like two three weeks ago so yeah i love it i've always wanted a duffel bag um i got black because i wanted to change switch it up my way bag is like brown so I don't know, I want to get something different. So I got black, plus it's my favorite color. So, yeah. So for heels, um, I do own stripper heels. Um, I do own them. I just don't really like them, per se. So a long time ago, I was looking for some stripper heels. And I found these. So these are really worn out. Oh my god, they have like... Oh my god, I hope I didn't get that shit in here. God. Hello. Okay, I'm just I'm like the lotion's like opening and like getting all over that. So I ignore that. As I was saying, I was looking for some heels and I didn't want like regular heels. I wanted them to be sparkly, 
but I don't like the stripper heels because they just hurt my feet. I don't know. I just feel like I'm not meant for those shoes. So I was at Nordstrom and I found these shoes. I don't know if you can see, like, they are so worn. And I've only had them for, like, three months. But, yeah, they're pretty worn. Um, They're Steve Madden. So these cost me, like, $100. But they're really comfortable and they're high enough where, like, they gave me height. But they're comfortable. So they're not stripper shoes. But they're also not something that you could wear just anywhere. I mean, you could, you know. But, like, they're a little bit, like, showy. So I'm definitely going to rebuy these soon. Um, like, really soon because they're hella worn. Um, and I got these in a size six and a half, I believe. And, I don't know, if you're looking for some stripper shoes, but you don't really like stripper shoes, I recommend these. Um, actually a friend of mine bought some smaller ones. And she saw me with these, so. I wear these most of the time. If I don't wear these, then I wear these black stripper shoes I have. I don't have them with me at this moment, but I'll wear those. But usually these are my go-to these are my favorite and these are the ones that i can walk the best in and these are the ones that i usually wear so those are the shoes that i keep in my bag um right now i'm not wearing my hair extensions because i'm trying to like go notch but usually my hair extensions are like they're like all wobbled these are my balami hair extensions um usually i'll bring them with me just in case i'm not feeling my look and i want to make my hair longer i usually bring them with me just in case if anything um so yeah, I don't even take care of them. I'm surprised they're lasting me this long. Um, I also always bring gum because like you're talking to people and you don't know if your breath smells or like you're eating. Sometimes I eat things and like you can't like go brush your teeth. So I always bring gum with me. So I always carry like a pack of gum. With me. Also, I always bring deodorant. My favorite type of deodorant is spray deodorant. This one is lavender. So I just like quickly spray deodorant if i feel like i smell so that's a must hygiene is a must because like you're getting really close to people and like you don't want to smell so that is a must i also always bring um wipes with me like flushable wipes i just i ran out i think so i always bring either like face wipes i also have like vagina wipes just in case like you need a clean down there but i think i ran out and i haven't been to the store so i usually carry that with me but i ran out um and you can get those anywhere like Target, Walmart, whatever. Also, the biggest thing for me is smell. So smell is the number one thing for me in the club. You must smell good, like, period. So at this sex store near my, um, in where I live, they sell this little thing. It has like a top, but I just lost it. So this is a pheromone. So I don't know if you guys know, but pheromones are like sexual, like smell, or like, it's not sexual, but, like arousing smells. So this for sure works for me. Like I put it right here in my palms. I put it in my neck and I put it like right here and so I put it all over my butt too like I put it literally everywhere and there's like three different smells so basically this just like arouses people in a way and it's not like I'm saying like arouse people but it's just like you have more of like an attraction so I usually spray this every day um non-stop like I'll if I come back to the locker room I'll spray it I'll put some more on and I go back and I'll put some more on. So I'll put it on like about four to five times in the night. And I think it really makes that money. So if you guys have a sex store and they, I'm sure any sex store has some sort of variation of it. So just find a smell that like works with your, um, with your chemistry. And I bet you it's going to work. Especially if you believe. If you believe in anything, it works. I feel. Also, my favorite perfume of all time, Black Opium the best perfume of all time like literally like i carry this with me everywhere i own like three of these and also i only shop ysl perfumes because i only like ysl perfumes so this one really mixes well with my chemistry and it mixes well with the pheromone so whenever i spray this people are always asking me like oh my god what are you wearing like you smell so good like oh my god my clients like a rave and they die over this perfume so this mixed with that one like money maker for sure so I always bring that with me if I don't have it like I freak the fuck out I don't think I've ever worked without it so I don't know how to really work without it because I'd probably kill myself so I always keep that with me just because like you never fucking know um so now I don't have anything in here but I usually take my makeup back with me so this is just like simple I just carry like my necessary makeup it, um whatever I need to like touch up I also always carry like a tiny like mouthwash same thing as the gum, just to like freshen up my mouth. Um, my favorite gloss right now that I'm also going to be selling on my website. This is the Effect Lip Oil from She, which 
I bought a whole lot of so I can sell them because I love it. It's like this super shimmery gloss. So I always reapply this every time I step out on the floor too. So if I don't have my gloss, I freak out also. So I always make sure I have that with me. And I always also have a beauty blender in there just to touch up. So that's basically what I carry in there. Oh, I almost forgot my AirPods. I always bring my AirPods. And if I don't bring my AirPods in my bag, then I'll try to... Um, I don't put these in here because they were just more of them. I'll put them in my like actual bag, like in that one or my Prada bag. And in here, I usually keep my beats. But I took them out because I just came back from Chicago. And I was using them on the flight. But usually, these are, are good because a lot of the girls will have, be having like sad conversations sometimes about like the night and like how their day went like if they're making money and those kind of things like kind of like even though you're trying to ignore them they affect you and you're like damn like they're saying they're not making money like well i make money i don't like to hear any of that i like to really focus on myself and tunnel vision so if my beats have the battery i'll try to put these on while i'm doing my makeup because you can't wear them if you're doing your hair because you have to do your hair so i'll wear these and these really really you cannot hear anybody with your beats so i'll wear these while i'm doing my makeup and then if I don't have them with me, then I'll just deal with it and I'll wear my AirPods and I'll play like a motivational video, like nonstop motivational videos, Oprah, whatever you need to play. I just don't want to hear side conversations. I like to tell vision myself. So I always work with listening to my music. Always, always, always. So that's something I always bring. I always bring water bottles too with me, baby water bottles. I also always bring a Red Bull. Um, this one's open because I'm like drinking it right now. Um... If I don't bring a Red Bull, then they sell some at the at work, but they sell it for like 4 or $5. And I got these at Costco. So those are just what I bring. Um, there's really nothing else I bring. Sometimes I bring snacks, but mm, very rarely. But that's basically all I keep in my bag. Um, the most important thing for me in this video is the perfume and the pheromones. Like if you get that, trust me, you'll make some money. But yeah, that's basically what I keep in my bag. Um, if you guys want any other videos, comment down below. Um, get ready with me, whatever, comment. And definitely let me know if you like this video. And thanks for watching. Excuse my dirty room.